Whoa, greetings. And do a short channeling of um, something a little bit different. Well, back to the old, you can say. So anyway, much well, blessings. And uh, oh, that's right, I have, uh, I'm working on, I forgot, I got to download around uh, Sunday. I'm going to start, I'm going to work on a, a small video animation, see how it goes. I've had ideas for it. I was going to use this platform before, when I did the first one in, was it February? Uh, but this is a different format, and let's see how it goes. Anyway, it's funny. Anyway. It's a comedy thing, so it's not a big deal. So, um, all right. Wish you all blessings. Just give me an eyes up. Give me a heads up. I'm not gonna put anything out there yet. So this is till it's range. So it shouldn't be too. Shouldn't be even too long. The way this goes, I might do one a week. We'll see how things go. I want every two weeks to see. So <clears throat> anyway, they're fun. So all right, much love, blessings. Here we go. <clears throat> Greetings, we are Ashtar Command. Blessings from our collective to yours. Love and light in this understanding of your place here. You realize you're all connected. There's so much more to it. In your next coming days, many of you will begin to feel the earth shake, you can say, from what we are seeing. Not to put worry into this, but you and your earth is opening up to more of itself. And we are very excited to see many of you blossom out to become more aware of your surroundings. Even to guide those that are wish you not to connect as they have places here in their third dimensional vibrations that they must complete before full awakening status. So they most likely will tell you to hush up and keep let them stay as you will recall, asleep, but also say, stay on task, as they need to stay on task in this third dimensional vibrations. So there's nothing wrong with sharing a little love from your vibration to help really distress, but some wish you still have stress, so that is fine, that's up to them. Our vibrations with you is bringing a protection, a light of love and understanding, and a love of understanding of all beings that might feel strange to you, as some do have fear of extraterrestrial vibrations, such as reptilians, insectoids, and the Zeta Gray. The Zeta Gray is one that is of particular notice, it is in your culture, but also has been identified as a feared being in some cases, but some an enigma for most. They do realize there is a negative agenda within the grays, but also there's a positive agenda within the grays also. The positive agenda is usually overshadowed by the negative due to the government relations with the negative gray. For you to release negative gray vibrations, not to bring fear to it, understanding it, but also to realize they have much manipulation done on your planet that are done in a way that is keeping your world quiet. 
from alien extraterrestrial connections. The fear mongering continues on to the negative vibrations, which is coming to an end to let you know. As you become more aware, you receive more downloads, more inspiration, more ideas of how to bring in the light into your world. And not to bring fear to any of this negative vibration. They are here for a purpose. This is you are here for a purpose also. They are here to test, but you so are you to be tested. Also give out your own tests in your own way. Tests of light, of love and acceptance. An open hand to humanity. Many of you will feel more of your extraterrestrial energies. Many of you that are awakened quicker than others or of the light of the extraterrestrial energies, not to say those are not awakened, but they have many human incarnations that they are still on study with, you can say. They're still studying their incarnation here, as you can see. And many of you have completed your studies and ready to move on, as you can see. As many become impatient to the four density vibrations, but they are still warning. That is your own test to be patient. And to study yourself and to heal and to give love and forgiveness to yourself and to others. As many are still discovering paths of themselves. Some are still finding happiness with themselves. It's fine, difficult to find that. As your past lives have caused direction in your life that you feel like you deserve, which is quite understandable. As you feel like you're, some do need to Certain attributes, such as lifestyle, they wish to con to copy from another lifetime into this one. Such as having wealth, such as having a romantic relationship, and some people have none of those things. They still dwell on it because they've had it in other lifetimes where it's brought much positivity. But in this lifetime, it's much a different direction, as you can see. Or run into a lover you once had in another, or once connected with in another lifetime. And then you connect with them here, and you know that there's, there's no way, there's no reason to have a relationship at all. But you have to learn that test also. Many do continue relationship and when they should not be one. But that is fine, that's through the test of the one's vibration to understand, to enhance one's abilities. But as you go into more of a spiritual vibration, you won't feel the world, see it, and hear it when the time is right and feel Mother Earth's vibrations asking you for assistance as the world begins to shift. Major shifts. But you should be feeling very soon. But not in a negative, in a positive, but your Earth must shift for change to occur. That is what we have for you today. Yes, it's very brief, but we send our positive vibrations to your incarnations. Blessings. That's all.